What is an augmented matrix? That's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Math lesson. For starters, let's introduce two matrices. Let's say this matrix A has one column, entries of two and three. And then another matrix B, this matrix has entries of one, zero, we'll say negative two and four. Nice simple two by two matrix. An augmented matrix is created by joining the columns of two matrices. So we could augment our matrix A with this matrix B. And if we were to write that, that would look like this. A, then a vertical line, and then B. And if you're doing any other matrix operations with this augmented matrix, it would be smart to put it in parentheses. So what does this matrix look like? Well, like I said, an augmented matrix is created by joining the columns of two matrices. So first, we've got the columns of our matrix A. In this case, that's just two and three, just one column. Then we've got the columns of our matrix B. That's got one, zero, and then negative two, and four, and this is our augmented matrix. So that's not too tricky, and oftentimes we'll put a straight line here as an indicator of where one matrix stops, the matrix A in this case, and where the other one begins. The nice thing about an augmented matrix is now we can sort of operate on two matrices at the same time by doing things with just one matrix. And that might sound like a silly thing to do, but it's actually surprisingly useful. And as we continue to do more complex calculations with matrices, augmented matrices will be useful a lot. One of the most common uses of augmented matrices is to use them to solve systems of linear equations. Here, of course, we have such a system. We've got three linear equations. All of the variables and their coefficients are on one side of these equations and all of the constants are on the other side. And it's pretty cool how we can use matrices to solve this system. We won't go over the whole process in this video because it can take a while. I just want to give you a little intro of how augmented matrices are used in this process. For starters, we can create what's called a coefficient matrix. This matrix just stores the coefficients of the variables in the equations. In the first column, we have the coefficients of x. In this case, that's two, three, and negative one. Then in the second column, we've got the coefficients of y, which are negative four, one, and five. Then in the third column, of course, we've got the coefficients of z, that's gonna be one, two, and negative one. And that is our coefficient matrix. Then we can also have a matrix with the constants, four, one, and three. Then we can augment our coefficient matrix with the constants matrix. Then we would have this augmented matrix. And if we perform what are called row operations on this matrix until this side looks like the identity matrix, then we'll have the solutions to this system of equations on this side. So that's pretty cool and one of the best uses for augmented matrices and we'll certainly go over how to do that in detail in another lesson. Another cool way we can use augmented matrices is to find inverse matrices. Here we have a three by three matrix, and here is the identity matrix with three rows and three columns. What we can do is augment this matrix with this identity matrix, and that would give us this. Just like I said in the previous example, we can perform row operations on this whole matrix. And if we do that so that this side of the augmented matrix looks like the identity matrix, then what we'll have left over here is actually the inverse of this original matrix. So that is really cool. So that's just a little bit about augmented matrices and why they are useful. Remember that an augmented matrix is created by joining the columns of two matrices. And the notation for that looks like this. If you're joining two matrices called A and B, you would write A, then a vertical line, and then B. Also, quickly before we go, we could also look at this augmented matrix, but in a slightly different order. We could have B, first and augment that with A. In this matrix, we would have the columns of B first. So one, zero, negative two, four. And then we would have the columns of A, two, three in this case. 
And remember that a vertical line is often used to show where one matrix ends and the other one begins, but it's not actually required. This is still an augmented matrix, it just doesn't obviously look like one without the bar. So I hope this video helped you understand what augmented matrices are, as well as some of the notation and some of the uses. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. I got teeth behind my eyes Tear the flesh from what is sacred In my dreams I never die And if I do I just awaken Gotta love